All right, today we're here to talk about the flathead fillet knife. I'm very excited about this knife and we, we kind of went at this a little different. You know, we don't have a lot of big fish and a lot of fishing here in Montana in regards to filleting big slabs of salmon. Uh, we get some of that down on the Clearwater River in Idaho. There's definitely some big fish over in Fort Peck Reservoir in eastern Montana. Uh, but we really find that a lot of our uh, knife users in Montana, in particular in a lot of states, do a little bit of fishing, but they also do a lot of hunting. And we're a hunting knife company. So when we developed this knife, I kind of went for not just a fillet knife, but also a boning knife. Uh, this knife has actually got a little bit of stiffness still to the spine, so when you want to get in and do some boning out of an elk quarter or a moose quarter, you actually have some rigidity to this blade where it's not super, super flexible. Let's talk about design on this fillet just a little bit. The first thing we've got that's very noticeable is a very sharp point. And the reason for that is we have to insert that blade through the center of a fish to try and get to that point where we want to actually run that uh, that fillet knife through and, and cut a nice slab of meat off of a salmon or a big lake trout. Uh, so we need a good point to be able to do that, to be accurate and get in there. The other thing we have is some nice belly in this blade where the point kind of trails away. So again, in, in that case where we're breaking down meat, we have some slicing action that we can use. Uh, when you're breaking down meat at home, especially like a big elk quarter or a big moose quarter, there's a lot of that white sinewy uh, uh, tissue that's in, in between the layers of the meat as you break down an elk quarter. And you want to get a lot of that white sinewy stuff out of your meat and get some of that gamey flavor. I like to really clean my meat up where when I get done, that bowl of meat that I'm going to grind into burger or sausage is just really nice red meat without all that gristle in there. It also makes it less tough. So on a cutting board, one of our Montana Knife Company cutting boards, you can take this blade, you get that big uh, white film that's laid on that cutting board, you get a hold of it, and you can push that blade and slide that blade all the way through that meat and get that skin, that white skin off of that meat, throw that away, and you're left with a nice, a nice red slab. Uh, this blade is only 95 thousandths thick, so it's got some good flexibility to it. We can bend that blade really nice, so we can work around the bone of an elk quarter or a deer. Um, but that being said, we can push down on a table, push down, get a nice flexibility there, push down on that block, and push it through a, uh, a fish fillet. Uh, lastly, we've got a really nice handle here, G10. Uh, G10 will put up to uh, salt water, heat, uh, you, you know, you don't really have to worry about cleaning this blade up very much because you've got this G10 handle. We know on a boat you're doing a lot of filleting, you're setting the knife aside and it's got kind of fish slime and, and water all over it all day long. You got to excuse, we've got some hammering going on in the background here. We're building a brand new building. Our roofer is working back there and we're not going to shut him down for the sake of making an internet video. So bear with us on that. Lastly, I want to talk about corrosion resistance. This blade is made out of AEBL steel. That's a stainless steel and it's one of the most highly uh, corrosive resistant steels that's on the market. It's the most widely used chef knife steel in the world. Um, it's a good steel. It uh, has pretty dang good wear resistance, but really what's more important than anything is its corrosion resistance. In addition to that, these blades are all Cerakoted black. Uh, and that way, it, these also clean off really nice. Um, just wipe it down with a rag that, that Cerakote's very smooth. That way you don't get a bunch of stuff stuck to this blade. If it's dried on there later and you go to wash it off, you can clean it really, really well. Um, uh, the other thing with this flathead fillet is it actually comes with a really nice Kydex sheath. Uh, that helps put, you know, protect that blade if you want to throw it in your duffel bag, if you throw it in a bin on your boat. Um, or you want to pack that on a moose or elk hunting trip out into the breaks of Montana. Um, it, can, it can ride along in your truck once you get that elk in those quarters and you need to get that meat off of there. You know, a lot of times in the fall with bow season, it's hot. You need to get the bone out of your meat or your meat will spoil. And this blade is perfect for that. 
stripping all that meat off there, get it in game bags and let that meat cool, open that meat up. So um, that's the flathead filet, that's the reason behind it. And uh, I hope you guys get some good use out of it this fall.